Hi everyone, hope you all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can enable attack surface reduction rules from PowerShell. Now, if you're watching this series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about the deployment workflow for attack surface reduction rules. Whereas in this video, we are going to talk about how to configure them with PowerShell, how to test attack surface reduction rules with some of the sample files which are available and how to check logs in event viewer and alerts on security portal. Now to enable attack surface reduction rule with PowerShell, the process is exceptionally simple. All you need to know is the three modes which are available. The very first one is ordered and then warn and then block. Okay. Now to add a rule, one simple command has to be used, which is add hyphen MP preference. Then you have to give the rule ID, the rule quid to be very precise. And then the mode with which you want that rule to be activated. Now, once these changes are applied, then you can use get hyphen MP preference to check the outcome, whether the rules are applied or not. And this command will list down the quid and their current state. Okay. Now for all practical reasons, I will recommend you to use this method only for testing and checking the behavior. That means what will be the behavior on the endpoint itself. Now there is one more very important aspect that I would like to highlight and that is while working on this video and while trying to achieve or configure attack surface reduction rules with one mode, this is a common error that I was getting. Now, if you are also getting this error, let's say, uh, in your environment and this will specifically come for one mode this just means that your machine is not updated or the latest security patches are not applied to get the best results and to configure everything make sure you apply all the security updates to your machine and this is a command that you can use to check what is the anti-malware engine version and anti-malware product version on the machine now, this is the most stable one with which I was able to achieve all the configuration. So when you are doing this testing and when you are using PowerShell method, make sure you update everything on the machine and then try. Now, once the rules are configured and everything is working as expected, and if you want to do audit, then this is the location where you have to go, which is event viewer, application and service logs, Microsoft, Windows and Windows Defender and then search for these three IDs. 5007 will list down events when settings are changed. 1121 will list down event when the rule fires in block mode. That means you have configured a rule in block mode and the same malicious activity is monitored. Then 1122 is moreover related to audit mode. So if I'll quickly show you the sample, this is how 5007 will look like wherein it will list down the change in terms of what exactly has been added to a specific rule altogether. So if I talk about this particular section, you can see a GUID getting mentioned over here and then its value. Okay. Now this is how 1121 and 1122 will list, but it will show you that what exactly happened, which rule was triggered and whether the action was blocked or not. What was the file that was accessed? Now let me show you all this in action and then things will make a lot more sense. So what you see now is one of my machine where I will be configuring a tax surface reduction rule with the help of PowerShell. And the first command that I'm running is SC query sense. Now this will let me know that whether the machine is onboarded to MDE or not, because the sense service is running on the machine. Now the next one is SC query when defend, which basically means that defender AV service is also running on the machine. Now the next step is to go ahead and check whether real time protection is enabled or not. So for that, I'm going to type MP computer status. And as you can see, real time protection is set to true. So these three things must be configured as it is to get the best results for attack surface reduction rules. Now what you see is is an article and the link of this article will be available in the description section. What you need to do is you have to download the available files here so that you can go ahead and check 
what will be the behavior if an attack surface reduction rule is configured okay now as i've mentioned in the deck there are three modes audit mode warn and blocked for blocked you have to mention enable and these are all the commands that i will be using to enable all the attack surface reduction rule with a specific state which can be either audit war or enable to be very precise and the last command is to remove all the attack surface reduction rules everything will be available in the description section altogether okay so now let's try with the first set of rules which is basically enablement of asr in audit mode okay so make sure you open powershell with the account which has admin privilege local admin privilege on the machine so that you can go ahead and make these changes so that's it i have initiated all these commands and now if i'll do get hyphen mp preference what i will see is the list of all the guides of different asr rules that we are trying to enable with their value which is two in case of audit mode so in this case what will happen that if i'll go ahead and launch a file which i have downloaded from that particular link and if i'll click on enable content the file will be launched but then this behavior will be audited okay that's the only thing which is going to happen in audit mode okay now let's try the second mode which is of warn i mean in this case user should get a prompt that okay you can go ahead and run this and then that action will be active for 24 hours now let's say if i go ahead and check the state as you can see the value has been changed to six now i'm going to showcase a way wherein i'm going to launch ps tool and i should get the option to unblock as you can see now i'm getting the option to unblock the content now if i'll click on unblock and then run the same command again in this case i will be able to launch because i have allowed this malicious access so this is the behavior of warn mode altogether and as you can see anti-authority system context has been used to run this particular instance of command prompt with the help of psxec now the next one is block the state here in the expected behavior is the moment all the attack surface reduction rules are configured with block the state then i will not be able to perform the task i will only get a notification which says that this particular action is being blocked okay so now let's say if i do get have an mp preferences you can see all the value is being set to one which basically means all the attack surface reduction rules are working in block state so i've closed all the current command prompt which i have opened initially and i'm going to launch a new one and again i'm going to launch ps exec uh, command prompt with the system context and let's see what is the behavior okay so now i'm going to type ps exec space hyphen s space hyphen i cmd.exe and the expected behavior is this action should be blocked and as you can see i'm getting this option that says the action has been blocked because the attack surface reduction rules are configured in block mode altogether now if i talk about the events that i have shown you in the deck go inside windows folder and then there will be one more folder named as windows defender and in that folder you have to go ahead and check the operational entry okay so let's say if i click on operational now you can see i'm getting this event id which is 1121 the same one which i have shown you in the deck itself and it is listing down that what exactly happened and why microsoft defender exploit guard has blocked a specific action because asr is a part of microsoft defender exploit guard when it was launched initially okay so now this is the way where you can check the logs that are available on the machine now when i talk about checking alerts on the portal itself then go inside reports attack surface reduction and this section will list down the events which are generated now as per my experience this is not a real time it takes some time to get events highlighted here then you can apply filters likewise show me the alerts only for standard protection and then you can choose rule specific notification as well as dates and device group as well as action type which can be blocked 
or audited. So these are the two ways wherein you can check all the information available as per the activity which has happened on the endpoint itself. Okay. Now the last thing that I want to show you is the list of uh, the queries that I've shown in my 16 videos. Now in this case, what we have done is we have initiated an activity which is moreover related to this particular rule which is block process creation originating from psexec and wmi command and blocked action is the one which we have tried so i'll use this query and then i will again go to security.microsoft.com in the advanced hunting section and here i'm going to just run this particular query and as you can see now i'm getting the result this is precisely real time and you will get results there and then the moment you perform any activity so now let's say you want to get some more insights then all you have to do is you have to just click on this particular event and then you can refer to this particular section of what exactly has happened which file was accessed what are the hashes of those particular file what was the command that was used who initiated a specific process basically this is a very detailed version of each and every activity that you can track from here in advanced hunting query so that's end to end how you can enable rules uh, with PowerShell and what all can be tracked. So let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this video. We have discussed about configuring attack surface reduction rule from PowerShell, how to test attack surface reduction rules and how to view logs. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy attack surface reduction rules from group policy object. Now, if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and join the support membership of this channel thank you so much thanks for your time